Hello, this is Matt Moser, a partner with Alchemy Solutions underneath MoserSoft.com. Today I would like to do is cover an introduction to COBOL running up underneath Visual Studio.net version 2008. What we have in front of us is the Visual Studio environment, um, which I brought up by executing Visual Studio. And for this tutorial today, I'd like to show you how we can create a project, do a high level overview of the properties, um, add some simple lines of code, show a breakpoint, save and run the project, and then exit. So we'll begin. As we wish to start, we would go down here and we would say Create Project. So I click on the Project button and the type of project that we wish to create today is a COBOL project and where I wish to locate the project is inside my Alchemy folder and so my Alchemy projects folder and so we'll navigate down to my video projects click on it press OK and I'm going to name this intro to COBOL.net and we're going to click OK and specify create a directory for our solution. And you'll notice that it is in the biz business and process of building your project. When this comes up, you'll see that you actually have a uh, complete program that all you have to do is basically fill in the blanks. And that's really about it. So you'll notice that we have our program here. It already has the environment division, special names, configuration section, and so forth. And from a high level, if we take a look at this, we have a project name. Um, solutions are comprised of multiple projects or one project. We have our references if you wanted to point to another DLL that you wish to call um, or something up underneath .NET we have the program which is this one and then you can actually add and reference copybook files which we'll cover in another video um, if you wish to get to the properties of a given project you can right click on a project and select properties and from there which we will cover in um, following tutorials for each of these you have the ability to set the type of project that you're going to have, a console application happens to be an executable, or as you can see on this side, you have the ability to drop down and do a class library. Um, as I said before, we will cover this in another tutorial, but it's just good to know that all of these different pieces are there. So let's go back to our COBOL. We simply do that by clicking on here, and we'll come in here and I'll create a paragraph, 1000 main helps if you can type and 1000 dash exit we'll put an exit in here and we'll simply say display hello famous world upon console and we'll say display press any key to continue dot 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 and let's add ourselves in any key one ws dash any dash key picture x value spaces and we'll come down here and we'll say accept any ws dash any dash key and as always COBOL is not case sensitive in this particular program we'll do that as well and we'll say from console and as we move along we'll do a stop run um, animating through these as again we'll cover that in another tutorial but to animate is really not too hard we can go ahead and we can put our um, animate pause right here or breakpoint and in order to run we click this button it automatically compiles for us and we'll 
will attempt to do the run. And it's executing, executing, executing. And along stops at our breakpoint. What I wish to do though is I kind of wish to just to continue along. So I'm going to press the green arrow here. And here's Hello World. Press any key to continue. And we'll go ahead and do that right now. And we are all done. If you follow these steps, basically you'll have created your own first introductory COBOL program. Um, again, any questions, you can, I can be reached at mmoser at alchemysolutions.com or matt underscore moser at mosersoft.com. Have a great day.